I don't know why batter is so hard to make. So, I've been watching a lot of do-it-yourself videos, DIY videos, and something that I've always wanted to make and always just wanted to eat is a giant cinnamon bun. And I saw a video, a really old video by Jamie McDonald. He ate this like 11 pounds. It was just a like ridiculous bun. If I can find a picture, I'll show it to you on screen. Just a ridiculous size cinnamon bun. That is what we're gonna try to make today, hopefully. And I'm gonna try to make this from scratch, so we'll see how that works. Um, yeah, we gotta go to Walmart, pick up the supplies, go home, and create this monstrosity. We got a giant list of directions. We got milk. We got the smallest one. I think this is gonna be fine. Unsalted spoon. So we have everything that we need except for one thing. It's a mixer. Thank you. I've always wanted one of these. All right, so we made it in the kitchen, ready to create this monstrosity. I have all my items out in front of me, and I don't think I formally introduced the video, so welcome to the video. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, consider hitting that like button, and let's go ahead and see if we can make a giant cinnamon roll. I have a list of directions right here, because I'm going to attempt to make this cinnamon roll from complete scratch. I don't think I've done that in the past. You guys know my cooking skills that have watched my channel. So let's hope that we can come out successful doing this. For the first instructions, we need to put two cups of milk in a pan, and we're gonna boil it, but I'm gonna mix ingredients first. Two cups in a pan. The next ingredients is gonna be sugar. I'm just gonna, I don't know the exact measurements, so I'm just gonna put a ton of sugar, and I'm just gonna add this much sugar, which uh, I think it's like a quarter cup. Next, we need to add some butter, and I'm gonna add four tablespoons into the pot. I don't know if you need it. Boom. Also need to add some salt. Again, I don't know the measurements about that much salt. Big pinch. There. And we need to boil this, so I'm gonna throw this on the stove. While we're waiting for the pan to boil, we're gonna go ahead and make the yeast mix. We need eight ounces of water. We also need to add a little bit of sugar in this. I think that's gonna be more than enough. And the last thing we're gonna mix is the active yeast. And I think this is where it's supposed to like foam up. I hope it does. Here's a fun fact. The last yeast mix did not work. The water was cold. Um, FYI, you have to mix it with warm water for the people that don't know how to cook. Me. Oh, it's mixing a lot better than it was last time. This is mixed and I assume that over some time it's gonna start to foam up. So we're gonna put this to the side. And what is the next directions? And we got this bad boy. a huge glass bowl which is pretty cool now I have to put some flour in a bowl I'm not sure how much flour so again we're not going to uh, this is not flour this is sugar we got to mix some flour into this not sugar flour we're not gonna add so much flour in the beginning you can always mix it in afterwards next we have to add the butter mixture that we boil it's nice and boiled Ooh, it's hot what am I doing touching it and then we gotta throw in the yeast, and then we gotta beat some eggs. I'm gonna throw in two full eggs. There's the yeast, and the yeast didn't foam up like I thought it was going to. I saw videos where it foamed up. I don't know, maybe I did it wrong. Thank you. So one egg, two eggs. And there, I hope this turns out cool. We need to add way more flour. Uh, it's not even dough right now, it's just straight liquid. More flour. More flour. More. I think we finally nailed the consistency. It's very thick, and I think after we let it sit for about 30 minutes, um, it'll be good. For some reason, this dough is just extremely hard to make. All right, so we will see what the dough looks like in 30 minutes. Later. 30 minutes later, we're here with our dough, and it doesn't look like the dough rose that much. We're gonna go ahead and use this as a platform, and I'm gonna go ahead and dump some flour. Okay. Better. We're just gonna beat the crap out of this dough. So this is what we have to work with. Two hours later. We finally got the dough to cooperate. It looks like normal dough. It just takes a lot of time to Get it right. Roll the dough out in a flat square shape. I'm really happy about this. I don't know why dough is so hard to make. Then we gotta put- That looks really good though. Turned out really good. Ooh. 
I think I'm gonna make dough more often. Put the butter on it. You don't have a brush, but that's, that's okay. Add sugar on top of the buttered dough. Add ground cinnamon all over this. Just like that. I'm, I'm a cinnamon whore. I think we're good on the cinnamon. Mm. Next up is to roll the dough like a carpet, like you're gonna roll a carpet up, just like so. <sighs> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut the dough into smaller pieces, just like that, and it is it's, it turns out to be just like a, a cinnamon roll. It is, it is a cinnamon roll. Spray this pan. So we take these and we stick them right in the middle, and then we're gonna take the other pieces and just keep wrapping it around. And we're gonna do that all the way through. We just keep on taking the other doughs and keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until we fill up the whole pan. Wow, that is, looks really good. And when you're done with the cinnamon rolls, this is what you should be left with. This actually exceeded my expectation. Now it's time to stick the giant cinnamon bun into the oven. So this should come out Good. A beautiful cinnamon bun. So we gotta make the frosting. We're gonna use fat-free cream cheese, butter, which has to be melted, powdered sugar, and also a little bit of vanilla. A few tablespoons of cream cheese into here. A little bit of vanilla extract. Mm. Melted butter. Mm. And I, should, I think that should be powdered sugar. Holy crap. I always thought adding cream cheese would be weird to make an icing or frosting. This tastes actually very, 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 very good. We're done with this. Here we go. Here is the, it didn't really turn out that great. I mean, it's done, but uh, kind of disappointing. All right, well, um, came out a little, uh, it didn't rise right. I don't know why. But, I mean, it still looks like a cinnamon roll, so we're gonna go ahead and deal with it. The last step is to go ahead and add the cream. It looks good though. It looks okay. All right. I mean, it looks okay. It looks pretty decent, actually. Um, I kind of, I wanted like a giant honey bun like this. We definitely gotta redo this sometime in the future. And there you have it, a giant cinnamon bun. We're gonna go ahead and cut this. Ugh, having technical difficulties, there we go. That is what looks like. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer in three, two, one. Timer has started. And I'm gonna give you guys a taste test. You don't seem too excited. So if I'm honest, um, the bread, the dough part, it's not as soft. It should have fluffed up. I'm not sure why it didn't fluff up. I think where I went wrong, I didn't let it rest for long enough. Even though I let it rest, about 40 minutes. This tastes, this tastes terrible. These rolls, like the rolls are not fluffy at all. It's like a pancake is more fluffier than these layers right here. And I definitely do not want to eat this whole thing because it feels like I'm just eating the dough. It's like cooked, but it's not cooked very dry. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and call this quits. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this one a fail in creating a giant cinnamon bun. It's not appetizing at all. Um, it's actually kind of making me nauseous. It's not done correctly. So I'm not going to eat the rest of this, or else I would if it was done correctly. Timer is stopped, 10 minutes. Uh, we definitely have to redo this in the future and uh, make it correctly. Uh, I forgot what YouTube video that I watched that gave me the directions. So I'll definitely in the future uh, correct this and make a better one and actually eat it. So. That's it. But I want to thank you guys for watching as always. I do appreciate the support. If you guys like the video, if you could do me a favor and like the video. Thank you guys for watching as always. You guys are awesome and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye. I mean, you look at this. That is what the outside bread 
That is how hard the outside 